Welcome to this Sandjack EdTech quick tip. This quick tip is going to focus on how to add what's called an RSS feed to Microsoft Outlook. Now, an RSS feed essentially is a data feed from a website. In this example, we're going to use the Office of the Chancellor from the college. If you'll notice here, it says subscribe via RSS. If we click on that, we can look and see what an RSS feed is. What an RSS feed provides is access directly to the data of a website. So in this feed, you'll see all of the posts that Dr. Hellyer has made to her blog over the last several weeks. This data feed eliminates the graphical interface that you see when you actually visit the website. Now what that makes possible is that we can access that data feed directly using what's called an RSS reader or a feed reader. We have one of those built into Outlook. So let's switch over to Outlook and take a look there. You'll notice in your inbox, you'll see this RSS feeds. That allows us to subscribe to RSS feeds so that when new items get posted, it actually shows up in our inbox just like an email would. So the question is how to add an RSS feed. Let me jump back over to Internet Explorer real quick. I'm going to come to the subscribe via RSS link and click on it. Now that's going to give me access to the URL up here at the top and I'm going to click in there and then I'm going to right click and copy that URL. I can then take that back over to Outlook and add it to my RSS feeds. I'm going to do that by going up to Tools and Account Settings, the RSS Feeds tab, and then I'm looking for the new button because I want to add a new RSS feed. So I click and it wants me to enter the location of that RSS feed. Now I've copied that so I can simply hit Control and V to paste the location of that RSS feed to Dr. Hellyer's blog. And then I can click Add. And then it's going to give me the options. I can change the name, I can change the folder that it's going to appear in, and a few other options as well. I'm going to leave all of these as a default at the moment and click OK. And you can see here that it's added it. And so if I hit close, now over in my RSS feeds folder in an Outlook inbox, I've got the Office of the Chancellor. And now all of the unread items, since I just added the feed, are now bold. So now I can go through my inbox and get notified whenever Dr. Hellyer posts a new item to her blog. Now, again, this applies to just about any website. Any place you see the RSS feed icon, you can access that URL and add it to Outlook. One good practice may be to reserve the Outlook RSS feeds for college-related business. Now, that's how you add an RSS feed to Outlook.